Right, we're now live. Um, just going to um, share the video to the relevant platforms. So I'm just going to share that one. I'm trying to add the clicking of the clock. Right, there we go. And um, hi to um, Richard. Clark there and hi to PK changes. Um, I think I got that right. Um, so so hi to you anyway. Um, I'm now joined by four of you. Um, now this is um, about the um, shopping trip I did yesterday. Um, I actually thought I'd announced that um, I was going to be on live at 10.30. Um, but um, obviously I hadn't posted, posted it on Instagram. Um, I've been promoting this a little bit, um, but I hadn't posted my um, video to Instagram to, um, to actually come on here with me live at... Um, 10.30. Um, I thought I'd done it, but it now appears that I haven't done it. So anyway, there we go. Um, but today's subject, um, uh, Richard Clark has just rightly highlighted it was, it, it, it's actually been my shopping trip that I did yesterday. Um, I'm going to highlight what, you, what, what I actually managed to get. Um, to start with, I managed to get this long life milk, which isn't my usual stuff, I have to say. This is skimmed milk, but I have full cream milk. I always have full cream milk. Um, last time I went, they packed out with this, but no ordinary milk. So there we go. But um, plenty of wine, of course. So managed to get that. Um, also, of course, this product here. This stops me from swearing so much. Oh, fuck off. Bollocks. You can't get anything these days, can you? It's a little bit, a little bit shaken after I throw it. <laughs> but seriously, um, managed to get quite a few tins of tomatoes today. Um, today, yesterday, I should say, I managed to get quite a few tins of tomatoes. So uh, that that's that that's all good. Um, that's also. Washing up liquid as well. So um, there we are. Um, I didn't do too badly, but um, I actually spoke to them um, a few days ago to, to ask them, um, will, um, will there be any... Um, availability of um will i be able to get my normal stuff um 
is there any rice there and all that sort of stuff? Will there be? But it's very, very, very low on stocks. And there wasn't the big bags that are there normally. So um, so, so there we are. Um, I mean, I've been rambling on a bit, but it, it isn't 10, 10.30 yet. So um, I've got to keep rambling on for a little bit longer. And... Um, we get more people joining us. Um, if we do, I shall. Um, I shall run through what I've got again. Um, so, uh, did I take my mum shopping? Um, well, actually, mum does the shopping for herself. Um, we did go together um, a few weeks ago um, because um, basically we didn't really know what to expect so um so yeah we we went together um a few weeks ago but um it seems that everything um well i mean it was a struggle there um i have to say um because they changed it again um there's sort of all these arrows um where you're supposed to go i think you can it's what i could make out anyway um so pk changes have i got a bird yet i'll tell you what my friend has got a bird it's a fucking parrot <laughs> <laughs> it repeats after you and all that sort of crap and, and it's really annoying <laughs> Um, are you let's have a look at this? Are you going to get the COVID haircut? Um, well, um, my friend, um, who's a barber, says he's going to be open for business, um, in the not too distant future. Uh, but the thing is, um, it's whether or not I can, um, actually get um, an appointment i'm not sure how he's going to do things um whether it's going to be appointment or whether you walk in off the street queue outside um i'm not sure what sort of system he's going to have in place um it's all um, all, all really um in the lap of the gods um, i think at the moment um would i bother um when i get it done if and when all that sort of stuff but the thing is you see i, I need I, I want these people to um to stay in business that's um that's the thing um and hi to it's Damn office, I think it is. <laughs> but hi to you anyway. Um, and it's Richard Clark's birthday. He's 48 on St George's Day. So ha happy birthday for then. Well, it was my birthday on St George's Day. Sorry, uh, my, my, my reading isn't very good. Never has been, but anyway, happy birthday to you, anyway. So we've got eight who are with us now. Um, But anyway, if you just join me, I managed to get most of my stuff. And this what I threw because I stopped me from swearing so much. Oh fuck off again. Oh bollocks, I've broken the fucking <laughs> I've broken the fucking bottle now. Ugh. Everywhere. 
Fucking hell. Um, what else do I manage to get? Bottle of wine as well, um, which I'm going to take to my mum tonight. Um, skim milk, of course. I don't have this normally. Long life skim milk. Um, not my favourite, I have to say, um, because I normally have full cream. Um, a tin of tomatoes as well. I managed to get, I mean, these are plentiful again, so it's good. Plus also um, a small bag of rice, medium-sized bag of rice, I should say. But... Um, Certainly, um, they weren't, I mean, I don't know, um, it wasn't back to normal, um, 100%, see these new comments down here, and, um, happy birthday to you, um, Liz, down in the office there, um, and Richard Clark is asking, did I wear protection on the trip? Um, well, um, I actually didn't, because um, the thing is this, you see, um, they're not sure really whether or not the mask will protect you and others. Um, mm. All I did was just try and remain two metres away from, from, from other people. But it was actually quite um, difficult to do that, um, especially um, when, um, when you're trying to get something. And also when, um, when your eyesight isn't very good as well, um, because... Um, I was in there, um, and then there was this other lady. She actually backed into me. <laughs> um, she didn't see that I was there. And I was trying to get my wine, and um, she basically backed into me. And um, she said, oh, I'm sorry. And I said, oh, that's all right, sort of thing. Um, but I think we both got an excuse, um, because I've got macular degeneration, albeit not serious macular degeneration it's um the dry variety which um it means that your eyesight kind of very very very, very gradually starts to deteriorate um, over a very very long um period of time and uh, basically just means i have to wear glasses to drive um i should really wear my glasses all of the time but of course i don't but um to drive or to read small print, um, yes, I, I I do have to wear glasses. And um, look at this comment here. Have you shot upside down? I'm up. I'm shopping upside down all the time at the moment at that store because um, what's happening is um, I'm going up the aisles or going down the aisles and the arrows are pointing the other way so you can't go up it so you have to go another way around and then go down it um it's all very 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 confusing at that store and um, i'm sure it is at every other store as well so um but um anyway we're um we're doing okay um at the moment so um but it could be better um they shouldn't have told me if you see what i mean that um that that, that um, everything was pretty much back to normal um i mean i would have wanted answers um there's a new comment here let's have a look at that Do you ever make pineapple upside down? I very rarely have pineapple at all, Richard Clark. <laughs> I 
<laughs> it's like a walkathon. Well, yes, actually, it is because um, you have to go up the aisles. Um, I mean, I only go once a month, hopefully, but um, I couldn't get all of the beef mints that I wanted um, last last time I went. So, of course, that means that um, I'm going to have to go back again either today or tomorrow and um, pick up some more. Um, and there's no guarantee that they're actually going to have what I want, even so. And um, I'm going to say to them, you know, I mean, I thought that stock was back to normal. And um, let's have a look at this one. Do you like the band Queen? Um, well, um, I do sometimes perhaps have them on um it's not my um real favorite thing i have to say um but um it's sort of more 80s stuff that i like and that's sort of more 70s i think um but certainly i'm more of um an 80s fan Oh, did they allow you to shop for your lovely mother? Well, I'm sure they would allow that. Hence the bottle of wine. Um, do you like the band The Beatles? Um, well, again, um, the, the kind of not quite my era. Um, I certainly I remember uh, John Lemon. Um, he had one or two um, hits in the early eighties, um, I think, uh, with "Imagine" and "Woman," that sort of thing. Um, that that they were in the charts at the time. Um, I remember my um, grandma had um, had both of them on um, on the old. Um, record turntables whatever they were so you like the 80s music too yes um if you're of a certain age like me um you will have grown up in the 80s so um i went to school in 79 and, and um basically um, went um, through school in the 1980s and left in 1990. And unfortunately went to Lingfield Nuthouse so after I finished school, which it did me the world of good. Not fucking hell. No, oh, you was born in 2006. Okay. Um, so you're a lot younger than me. I was born in 1974. So a bit of an age difference there. <laughs> I have to say. So, um, so anyway, um, I think I wish you all seven three and um a very very good day and um hopefully uh, well we'll do a live another live uh, but remind me to to actually announce it on um on instagram and, and then of course i'll get more people on here to um to see it so that's what I should have done. Um, I mean, I've had between four and eight join me, so that's not too bad. And um, so, yeah, I wish you all a very good day. And 7-3, as we say in amateur radio, which means best wishes. So take care.